All of you here tonight are already doing that. And I can't thank you enough again for your friendship and support. This year, the Waxman Foundation celebrated its 40th anniversary, and our leader, Dr. Waxman, celebrated his 80th birthday. If you think about that, 40 years away from seeing patients prior to that, with extreme dedication to trying to figure out a way to treat cancer and cure cancer. You're amazing. Thank you very much. In this room tonight, we have family, we have friends who are struggling, who have cancer. Let's do it tonight and do it every day to try to figure out a way to give dollars and do all you can, to, like, once again, to support each other and try to figure out ways to cure cancer. And if, if, without us, it, it's never going to happen. Seconds of the year. Tonight we're honoring in memoriam footwear industry icon Vince Camuto, founder of the Camuto Group, who passed away last year of prostate cancer. We're so, so honored to be able to honor him this evening. Um, he's being honored with the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation, Vince Camuto Memorial Cancer Research Program, which is something we're going to talk more about here in the coming moments. This grant program will support, in part, the Waxman Foundation's newest research project being announced tonight. It's the SWCRF Aging and Cancer Research Initiative. And also, Michael references before, if there's anybody here who doesn't know who the who is, I want you to stand up and I want you to leave right now. <laughs> you better know who the who is, for God's sake. And Roger Daltrey is here, and uh, we cannot wait. And of course, uh, special guest Willie Nile, so it's going to be a uh, performance uh, for the for the ages coming up in just a little bit. Don't forget about the silent auction. And now, what I'd like you to do, last moment here, guys. We do this every year now, it's just to kind of bring the volume up a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, if it's been one of those weeks that I don't, you know, again, I don't do political jokes, I don't care who you voted for, just as long as you voted. So whether you're angry, whether you're happy, I want you all let out a little frustration or a little jubilation right now. I'm going to say cancer, you say sucks, all right? I want to get real loud in this room, because that's what we're here for tonight. A cure. Ready? Cancer! One more time, cancer! All right, you have now been healed. <laughs> so whatever your ills were, you've now had a chance to get it out. Enjoy your meal tonight. We'll be back. We'll start the program in about an hour. And like I said, we're going to hear from some wonderful people tonight, including Roger Daltrey coming up. So enjoy dinner, and we'll get back to you in just a couple of minutes. Everybody, I hope you're enjoying dinner. The Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation is proud to honor the memory of a true visionary in the footwear industry, Mr. Vince Camuto. Co-founder of Nine West, Vince is credited with revolutionizing America's affordable fashion footwear market. In 2002, Vince founded Camuto Group as a retail resource for the design, development, and distribution of women's fashion footwear. Over the next 14 years, he grew the company, acquired licenses and partners, introduced brands, and built Camuto Group into a global business. Mr. Camuto is an avid philanthropist with special interests in charities that benefit women, children, and families. Please now, if we can direct your attention to the video monitors. The idea of how a woman should look. Fashion and footwear in the 80s was either very expensive or non-existent. He created affordable luxury. He really sort of paved the road for a lot of other designers and brands and department stores. Vince has this innate ability to understand what resonates with women. He can look at a hundred shoes in a room and pick out the six best sellers. He strikes me as someone that was ageless. He was always very current and relevant. Vince had such an impact with mentoring, leadership, kindness. He was just very, very connected to just really make everyone feel special. He was really very thoughtful, very generous of himself and of his 
insights, ideas, and advice. Now that he's gone, he hasn't left all those people that he's touched, and we're all better from knowing and being with this community. Here now to announce the establishment of the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation, Vince Camuto Memorial Cancer Research Foundation is the founder and CEO of the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation, our good friend, Dr. Samuel Waxman. There's so many familiar faces here, I feel like it's homecoming when I go back to my college reunion. And I want to briefly thank you all for being here. You make a huge difference to finding a cure for cancer. So tonight I really limited just to a few words because of the time. And the first thing I would like to do is to present some, a uh, memorial award to Louise Camuto. So, Louise, if you will come up here, please. I'll, I'll say briefly, I met Louise uh, just about a short time ago. We had an extraordinary conversation of the problem of why somebody so dear to her would get cancer, the prostate, and leave her. And I gave her the message that this is what happens when you get older. Age drives cancer. It's the biggest risk we have. And we have an aging population. Now, we want to do something about that tonight. You'll hear a little bit about this in the video, and I won't have time to talk about it. But I think Louise really understood it when we spoke. And so, with that discussion I had with Louise, we spoke a bit about Vince. I did not know Vince personally, but I've known of Vince. And uh, not only from my wife, but from so many people that love his uh, shoes and all the things he's done. Clearly an innovator in this field, broad-minded, had a wonderful working relationship with all his employees, had a lot of women working for him. He was really ahead of his time, a, a real innovator, a charitable individual. And, he was, had the good fortune to have as his wife, Louise Pinuda. So Louise, please come up. So our the discussion I have with Louise is what can we do to get something going to try to understand why aging is such a driver of cancer. So to that end, we established the Vince Camuto Cancer Research Program in Aging and Cancer. And Louise and her family and the company launched this for us. So I want to thank Louise to receive this, which is very heavy. And uh, let's give Louise a really big hand. Without chemo, without radiation. 
and to find a way for a cure as you have already, where you found a way to cure a certain kind of breast cancer and leukemia. I applaud you and I think we all should applaud Mr. Martin. This grant will help for it. It's for a hundred thousand dollars for three years. And it's a beginning and it's a bit of a help. So in Vince's name. And on his behalf and our family, um, I'd like to say a very heartfelt thanks. And I hope you have fun tonight. Enjoy your day. As you'll see from this video that fosters the interaction between numerous scientists around the country and world. It's one of the best collaborations of science at work with the goal of trying to understand and treat and cure cancer. So please pay attention to it. I think you'll find it informative. And I'm going to be around the room to quiz everybody afterwards. So let's do the video. And, uh, Please pay attention to this. 40 years dedicated to one goal, eradicate cancer. In this time, the foundation has not only developed research that led to breakthroughs in cancer, but is a master brain trust of cancer knowledge, a brain trust of information that will be critical in the years moving forward. The Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation is based on the principle of collaboration. It is this collaboration that has led to breakthroughs in many areas of cancer research, from liver cancer to lung cancer to triple negative breast cancer, among others. Unlike most granting mechanisms, the foundation has given me and the people in my laboratory the freedom to explore areas that we had not previously thought about, doing so rapidly in response to news we heard about new scientific advances elsewhere. It allows you to leverage other support with the continued support of the Waxman to really take your ideas and constant experiments. It's hard to do experiments in short-term funding, uh, but knowing that the funding is going to be there allows me to commit my best people to work on these projects. So it's the flexibility that this has given my group, my research group, that has made uh, certain unconventional advances possible over the last years. The Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation's Scientific Brain Trust, the Institute Without Walls, includes over 50 renowned scientists. Forty years ago, the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation pioneered the concept of genuine scientific exchange between cancer scientists across not only research institutes, but also across cancer types. Collaboration is a culture, and particularly when we first start out, we have to create a culture of trust and openness between the investigators and the common sense of the cycle. The nature of the support from the Samuel Waxman Foundation is incredible. I really particularly like the idea of a group of people getting together. The fruits of this collaboration are on display at the Foundation's annual scientific review and symposium, which gathers the Foundation's funded investigators for two days of progress reports and stimulating exchange that advances their progress and often creates new partnerships. The annual symposium that the uh, Waxman Foundation holds really represents a wonderful incubator where people from different areas of cancer research get thrown together and cross-fertilize one another. And the particular mix that we have is exciting, it's interactive, and from that comes something special. It doesn't happen if you're on your own. This camaraderie has led to fresh approaches to cancer investigation and in many cases, new therapies for patients. The best part of being involved in this symposium is to have my intellectual storehouse enriched by the very different approaches that so many of the participants take. The secret sauce here is not just the support, but it's the colleagues that you interact with. And something magic happens for them. As the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation continues at the forefront of research, it's taking on new challenges in the war against cancer. The foundation has launched 
the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation Aging and Cancer Research Initiative after identifying a need for research that examines the breakdown of normal aging that increases cancer mortality. The foundation has continually emphasized the importance not just of developing effective treatment, but also treatment that is less toxic. In the aging society, the challenges are more serious as aging is the single biggest risk factor for developing cancer. Since cancer-causing genomic defects build up over time, as our life expectancy grows, so does our risk for developing cancer. Even after undergoing successful treatment, late reoccurrence of cancer and new cancers may emerge as people age. Join the Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation in supporting this exciting research program that addresses a worldwide health crisis fueled by aging populations. The Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation is announcing tonight its 40th anniversary campaign to raise $30 million over the next three years to expand the Foundation's Institute Without Walls and launch the Aging and Cancer Research Initiative. And we are off to a great start. The Samuel Waxman Cancer Research Foundation and the National Cancer Institute are finalizing their breakthrough Aging and Cancer Research Collaboration.